In this video I will be setting up temperature monitoring with Node-RED and ESP8266 module. First thing I will do is flash ESP board 01 which is a black PCB board with 1 meg of memory with ESP Easy firmware then I will be installing Node-RED server, installing MQTT broker and having a quick look at the MQTT traffic in Wireshark. Before we start, quick explanation how data is sent using ESP8266 to Node-RED. So we got the module here, which will be sending data to Node-RED. And the SP module is connected to wireless LAN, home, home wireless router, uh, which then will pass the data to MQTT broker, which then will pass the data to Node-RED. For flashing the ESP8266 module, I am using this programming board. One thing to remember, uh, if you just plug in the module, you won't be able to flash it. You should have ground pin and pin zero connected. So in my case, it will be this pin here and this pin here. They need to be connected for flashing to work. Next thing to do is to download the firmware. So I am using ESP Easy. Uh, at the time of making of this video, this is the version I am using to flash the chip. So after downloading the firmware and extracting the zip file, uh, we will see something like this. And I just need to open the flash ESP8266 EXE, select the correct COM port and choose, in my case, I went with normal one meg chip and Let's press flash and as we can see currently the chip is getting flashed with the ESP Easy firmware. So once that is done the chip will create create its own access point and to connect to access point the default password is config ESP and you will be presented with a page like this. So the module can be access accessed on 192.168.4.1 and it will allow you to connect to your home Wi-Fi router. Next thing to do is to configure the chip. So once it connects to Wi-Fi, your home Wi-Fi router, you will be presented with this page. Let's just have a quick look through. So we can change the name of the unit here. This is the SSID we need to connect to. And you can also set up a secondary access point. And also you can set up the IP address and default gateway and the rest of the IP settings if you require. The next thing we'll need to have a look at is controllers. So since I'm using Mosquito, as my MQTT broker, 
I'm using open HAB MQTT protocol. This is the IP address of the node red server. Once obviously it's not set up already, but that will be the IP address of the server. I've not changed the default port or any other settings here apart from tick the enabled box and submitted the settings. Next thing we'll need to set up uh, devices. So in my case, this is the board I've created. So I've got the HT22 temperature and humidity sensor connected to pin two. And this is a little voltage regulator so I can actually power the whole project up from five volts because these boards only run on 3.3 volts. So this is the setup I'm using. So it is pin two. So if we look back here at the configuration, if we do a drop down here, this is where you choose the data pin. In my case, it's pin two, pin zero, it's not been used. The type of the sensor, the HT22. I've ticked the send to controller box and this is the delay or it's basically how often the data will be sent to the server also i've not changed these and at this point this the, this um, esp module with the sensor attached to it should be now trying to send data to the node red server as you can see here i can see the readings from the temp uh, temperature and humidity sensor so that's all seems to be working also we can have a quick look at the tools uh, it's quite good for troubleshooting and if you go in a log you can actually see the what basically the module is doing in this case, it is trying to send it, uh, send the data to the broker, but obviously it's failing since there is no nothing on the other end to receive the data. So let's now jump over to the server and let's see how to set that up. First thing we need to do is update the repository. Once that is done, we will need to install node.js. In my case, I'm installing legacy version. Once the node.js is installed we'll need to install the node.js package package manager which is uh, npm once that is installed we will need to install node red server once the node red server is installed we will need to install mosquito which will act as our mqtt broker Okay, that should be all for the server install. 
So let's start now dread and see if we can configure the no dread end of the things. So as we can see the node red is now running. First thing we'll need to do is set up the input from MQTT broker. Let's add MQTT server since it's a local server it will be localhost. We are not enabling any security. And the next thing, which I was actually originally a little bit struggling, I kind of worked it out on my own, but just to make sure that I was correct, I actually used Wireshark to troubleshoot. So what we'll do now is actually I just need to run it up as a root user. And as we can see, so this is the IP address of the ESP module and it is sending data over to our node red server. So if we now follow the TCP stream, we can actually see the data it's sending over. So if we jump back to the node red, the topic needs, normally I had a look at it and it had this long URL and I kind of worked out that it's, um, if you look at the config, it's built from the unit name and the name of the sensor and then the name of the values here. But just to make sure, I actually fired up Wireshark and that's what I got. So basically, we just need to add this in the topic. So this will be our temperature. And if we create another one. This will be our humidity input. Now to actually see if it if the node red is actually getting the data, we're gonna just in this case connect them to the debug output and deploy the module, switch over to the debug and wait for the data to come in. As you can see, now we are getting data from the ESP8266 module. So we are getting a temperature and humidity. That's it for this video. This is the first video of the series. I'll be creating more videos about configuring ESPs and no dread with different things like relays, smoke sensors and so on. Thank you for watching.